what's going on boys and girls we're gonna be talking about a GOG native Linux client and I don't mean Galaxy and I don't mean running Galaxy through Wine or Proton or any of that nonsense and I sure as hell don't mean the app that is standing in front of you which is Lutris which as you can tell I obviously use but it's not the one I recommend for managing GOG native Linux games here's the key native for that I pass the honor on to mini Galaxy Mini Galaxy is just that. It is a clear cut, clean way of managing your Linux native games on Linux. Because it filters out all the Windows crap, all the Mac crap, and gives you all the games in your collection that are currently available as Linux native builds in here. And that is awesome. I love that. Because it, ma it makes managing GOG games so much easier. Because if you have multiple parts that of a, of a game you have to download or, you know, updates and all the other stuff, it's an obnoxious way of trying to manage games on Linux when the GOG refuses to put out Galaxy for Linux specifically. It's mad annoying. So this way pulls directly from the site. You click literally the install, you click the download button, and that's it. So you literally, you just go over here and click download, puts it in a queue and it just downloads. That's it. So, you know, say you download another one, you know, beneath the steel sky, download, puts it in the queue. That's the next game that gets downloaded. Say that's the wrong game. You ended up clicking. All you do is click that. Are you sure you want to cancel the download? Yep. Download canceled. Fairly simple. It's not hard and it's not in your face so if you want to install a game like we have defcon here it's literally click the box click on install you want to see what the game info is game info go to the properties here's your support you can open the files directly right into your directories and all the other stuff that you have them stored at and then you can show fps and game you can have the game you got flags and variables and all the other stuff with it oh well, and it gives you a nice little blurb about the game and the category that it is little touches like that are nice uh, now you notice I said Linux native didn't highlight the Windows thing because that is actually a feature there is a reason for this though again I find this better for managing Linux native games on GOG but if you insist you go to up, up to the corner and go to preferences and just tack windows games click save give it a second and it'll load all your stuff now you'll one thing you'll notice is this little wine signature i've seen conflicting things but from my understanding it uses whatever's on the system the system version of wine um so you can't specify like what you can in uh lutris and all the other stuff with runners and certain versions of proton and all the other you can't do that with this this is meant as a native client for native games they this is more of a secondary kind of system there has been discussions and stuff about integrating all this into um like a wine ge or that kind of stuff that's in discussion and that's being looked at from my understanding at least on their uh github page so there's a lot of interesting work that's coming in but again for native linux game management for your gog collection this is it uh for me this is my only solution lutris is if i need to mess around with runners and all the other stuff i'll go use that this is the simple quick way for me to manage native linux gog games and it's fan fucking tastic so just my recommendation for a, a app to perhaps look at might not be for everybody not be in your situation but it's definitely a fantastic app that doesn't get a lot of love so give it a check out if you guys generically only play linux native games especially if you're a gog person